So stay tuned for that. But first, California is one of the most heavily taxed states in the nation. That's one reason the middle class has fled to so many other states, leaving by the day. But despite that huge tax burden, though, the government can't even keep the streets clean. Far from it. Los Angeles, San Francisco, other cities are sinking under a tide of garbage, needles, and human waste. Is it really that hard to provide such a basic service? Well, only if you're a California government official, it turns out. Otherwise, it's not that hard. Scott Presser proved that. He's an activist and founder of the hashtag persistence, of hashtag the persistence. He took a crew of volunteers to Los Angeles where they managed to clean up more than 100,000 pounds of trash in just nine hours. Scott Presser joins us. Scott, thanks so much for coming on. No, thank you, Tucker, for having me. So you first did this in Baltimore. Yes. And Baltimore is a famously troubled but also dirty city. You spent a lot of time cleaning it up, and you got quite a reaction from the left. Yeah, we came in with one tweet. I asked for help. I said, please come to the city of Baltimore. Let's pick up trash and do it as a family. We picked up 12 tons of trash in 12 hours with only 170 volunteers. And you know, no good deed goes unpunished, unfortunately. No. The Baltimore Sun wrote a scathing editorial, and I never thought, Tucker, in a million years, as an adult, I would be criticized for picking up trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost unbelievable that they took the bait and admitted that you basically pointed up their incompetence and their lack of caring, their, their callousness. So yeah. in Los Angeles, what did you find? In Los Angeles, again, we were welcomed in. This was a homeless encampment. Yes. So with the 50 tons of trash, the 100,000 pounds of trash, there were homeless veterans, there were homeless people sleeping next to this. And you know, when Dr. Drew Pinsky is talking about potential typhus, potential bubonic, that means that this is a health hazard right. for American citizens. We were welcomed in and we picked up 50 tons of trash with only 200 volunteers in nine hours without the help of the city, without the help of the governor, without the help of the mayor. We did it as private citizens because we don't need big government. What kind of trash? Everything. We found needles, we found mattresses, we found anything that you would make to build a home, furniture, and a lot of it was food. Some of it was human waste. I mean, this was serious garbage. It was worse in Los Angeles than it was Baltimore. So when, for example, Dr. Drupinski says this is so filthy it, it poses a, a human yes. health hazard, that doesn't that's not an overstatement. No, it's accurate. This is absolutely, if they want to talk about uh, the potential of an epidemic, look no further than Los Angeles. Well, I'm just confused. So you don't live in LA. You no. live here in the Washington area. You just show up there. You're trying to make a point, but you actually did it. Yeah. Why doesn't the city of Los Angeles do it? Thank you. Great question. Why, why did an East Coast boy have to go to the West Coast to show that I care in picking up trash? You know, where are the elected California officials? Where is all of these billions of taxpayer money dollars going to? Yeah. I want to know. Well, especially since it's, and, and verify this for me if you would, it's not that hard, right? It's not that complicated no. to pick up trash? Very, very true. So you lean over and then you close your fingers around and then you <laughs> put it in a bag, right? Yes, and then you remove it and make sure it goes to a dump yard, yes, So sir. it's not decoding the human genome. No, 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 this is something that anybody can do. And when we were in Baltimore, even 81-year-old, four foot, 10-inch Miss Louise was helping us sweep up trash. And if she can do it, bless her heart, then anybody can. Yeah, well, that just, it just tells you everything. Scott, thank you very much for that. Thank you, Tucker. Elizabeth Warren.